Let me start off by asking a question. What is the greatest movie of all time? Gone with the Wind, The Sound of Music, The Smurfs 2. All of these movies alike have adoring fans that love the craftsmanship that goes into creating a film. However, I noticed recently people have been casually spreading misinformation online, saying shit like The Godfather is the greatest film of all time. Nah mate, that award goes to Alvin and the Chipmunks 2, the squeak will release in 2009 by 20th Century Fox. Now nah, mate, I know what you're thinking. Why not the original Alvin and the Chipmunks? Why not Alvin and the Chipmunks 3 Chipwrecked? Why not even Alvin and the Chipmunks 4 The Road Chip? Well in today's high quality epic video, I'm here to teach you on why Alvin and the Chipmunks 2 The Squeakquel is secretly better than Citizen Kane. But before we get into that, make sure that you're fat to hit like and subscribe button if you want to be part of the sausage roll. So fairly similar to Shrek, The Squeakquel has many layers comprehending to its immense genius. So let's break it down. So the movie opens up with this pretty hype concert in which Alvin proceeds to fling his father across the stage and nearly kill him. Dave then tells the chipmunks to go away, so they go meet up with his auntie and Shazam. After about 50 seconds of yapping later, she then falls down a staircase, gets hit by a golf buggy, and dies. Don't worry, puppy. I'll be home in no time. I wouldn't be so sure. Now, some of you might be thinking, holy shit, this movie's going at a million miles an hour and it's not stopping for petrol at all. But it's okay, because this is the part of the movie where it really becomes a masterpiece and really touches the viewer. So after Shazam drops the chipmunks off at school, this is where the true character arc begins. But if you thought that giving up attempted murder would be a part of the character arc, you'd be very wrong. Boys not allowed. Get the fuck out. Yeah mate, gone are the days of eating feces and pissing in the dishwasher. Now Alvin, Simon and Theodore have to go through treacherous character development and dealing with soul crushing mistakes. Alvin is a total knob to both of his brothers. Simon keeps constantly fighting with him and Theodore falls into a deep depression feeling like his brotherhood is totally worthless. And just when you thought that this movie couldn't get any more fire, then they go and add the chipettes and completely change the whole movie again. The amount of gore present in the squeakle is enough to make the Blair Witch Project look like an episode of the Dinosaur Train. I mean, think about it. Dave gets absolutely sent, Alvin gets a needle shoved up his up, and Brittany gives Alvin the most devious monologue ever. Why don't you do something with your life? You contribute nothing to society. How could I be with someone like you? <laughs> so there are a bunch of people having sex in there? Along with that, the squeakle manages to be a pretty freaking funny right movie. Green. I mean, who could forget such iconic lines like... She's practicing her pole dancing. In the truck. Yeah, little baddie. <laughs> Jiggles when I... Jiggles when I... <laughs> There's also a couple of scenes in this that I thought were definitely hilarious, just not in the way that they intended. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Right mate, I know what you're thinking, just listen to me for a second. Alvin and Brittany's relationship is actually kind of interesting because it's a bit like that Nelly song, except it's not with Nelly, it's with Alvin and the Chipmunks. You know, because there's like a dilemma or something. Jeanette doesn't actually do anything during the whole movie, they save that whole shebang for the third one. And Eleanor talks to Theodore once because like they're fat. <laughs> The final scene of this cinematic masterpiece has to be one of the most hype, epic, cinematic shits since George of the Jungle. So the chipettes have been captured in like these cages, right? And then Alvin comes mooning down the road in his Yamaha 256. Then the chipettes like jump out of the cage and onto Alvin's motorbike. And then Ian chases him down in his Chrysler 300 limo. And then they just engage in this freaking epic standoff with this remote control helicopter. It, it was epic. <laughs> Admittedly, the squeakquel might look like a movie for unborn fetuses, but you should never judge a book by its cover, because once you get into it, you'll really get into it. And that's why I give this movie a thumbs up out of 10. Anyways, mate, next video is on the new Grand Tour special, so make sure to smash the shit out of that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you all in the next one.